Is it worth it if your kids are gonna have tantrums all the freaking time? Welcome back to the Beast Den. This is Sloan the Beast at the Epcot Festival of the Art. Today we're gonna be talking about Disney passes as a family of six. Is it worth it? Me, I'm gonna take a First step, we're going to pick up our Dumbo Magnetic. I was not expecting for it to be crunchy. It's not bad, it's okay. My, uh, my it's not yours, we're sharing. Uh, Popping up candy. The Pop-Tart is actually really good. Mommy. There's a couple of things <laughs> that really <laughs> impact your decision. One, of course, is your budget. Full transparency, we pay 90-ish dollars a month for the five of us because my youngest does not pay. Now, $90 a month when you consider how often you go out with your kids, we get our money's worth because we come to Disney, I wanna say at least twice a month. If you think about like how much a day pass is, which I think right now it's almost at $200, multiply that by five of us, I would say we're definitely getting our money's worth. When you have four kids, anything where it's $90 a month so that they can do things like chalk art, like photo ops, like taste different foods for under $10, I feel like that's pretty much a no-brainer. Of course, our favorite part because they always have something to do. It's super low-key. Um, we're going to talk a little bit later about like the biggest factor in deciding whether or not Disney Annual Passes are for you and that is tantrums. Voila. What do you do? Is it worth it if your kids are going to have tantrums all the freaking time? If you are a Florida resident, currently the only passes they have available are pixie passes, meaning that you have blackout dates and you can't go on holidays and things like that. Had our passes for a little over six months at this point, and honestly, it's been pretty worth even with the blackout dates. So if that is a concern, I really wouldn't make it one. That is my tip. If you have young kids and you're like, man, I don't know if it's going to be worth it, I definitely think it is because you can come to the parks for just a few hours, maybe do one or two things, some shows, if you're like us and your foodies, try out the food, and then just head back home. I kind of am really led by, you know, the energy of my kids and kind of how they're feeling. So today we have brought our second to last son, which... We don't typically do because he is just a tad bit moodier, but today he woke up in a really great mood, so we were able to take him out and enjoy the day and kind of have an elongated day with him, which is exactly why we brought you guys along. If your kids are having tantrums at the park, you need to regulate your self. Kids feed off of your energy, so if you're on high stress, that's exactly how they're going to respond. So keep cool, keep calm, keep collected. I usually just call it a day because at that point, they're typically tired or you know they're just not having it, and that's fine. We all have good days we all have bad days and you kind of just roll with the punches the good news is if you purchase the annual pass then you can always just come back 
We're gonna try this. I love buns. Zero out of ten. Do not recommend. No bueno. Don't do it. Is it? small kids we don't do a ton of rides we're very particular about what rides we do there's a ton of shows that you can look into we actually really enjoy how Disney has made it really easy for you to build your day around kids in a way that's not going to be exasperating currently we are here during a pretty low time where wait times aren't anything crazy but yeah if you're worried about like well how many rides can I actually ride with my kids it's actually quite a few homeschool parents we don't pay for private schooling or anything like that and even many of the extracurriculars that our kids are in it's all scholarships but Disney has such a huge educational component to a lot of their shows or walkthroughs like this so if you're a homeschool parent there's so many creative ways that you can actually implement Disney into your lesson plan well absolutely it can be really expensive I want you to remember that Disney now allows you to bring your own snacks you can bring uh, some chips and sandwiches and things like that. If you want to save money on food, pretty much just plan your day around coming pretty early. That way you can be out of the parks early and get lunch somewhere else, like home. On that note, we are done. We have officially made it through an entire day at Epcot with zero tantrums, with zero issues. I hope that this video has encouraged you and shown you that you can literally do anything you imagine with your children as a parent. The sky's literally the limit. Finally got my annual pass magnet. So happy we waited until almost the end because the line was so short. We were pretty much just went 